first of all, do you know what BMI is? BMI basically stands for body mass, <laughs> body mass index. So what does this mean? So it basically means your height and your weight equals your BMI. So as you can see, uh, what are the components here? So what I used for this app is a, a label, which is for the BMI calculator title. And I also used an image. So I haven't told about image yet. This is a new component. So image is basically a component that adds an image. So all you have to do is find picture and add your image. All you have to do is upload it. That's the easiest thing about it, but you can also uh, set the height, the width, and all of that. And also, another component I never told about is, one second, input. It's basically a text input. So here I have labels to enter and then inputs to put in the text. So the labels tell you what you have to enter in the inputs. What does a text input actually mean? It means, it means like um, the user of the app will, t will type in a particular text. So it's up to their choice, whatever it is. But it can only be numbers because there's no such thing as height in letters or weight in letters. So it's only in numbers. For this, uh, you also need to use a particular block here. Okay, so this is called uh, divided by and times. So this, you find this in maths. So I'm talking about the blocks right now. We'll come back to this a bit later because I'm not done uh, talking about the components. So, so for the components, what you'll need is um, one button, only one button in the whole thing, which is the submit button. Okay, here's another thing. When you click on submit, it will calculate the BMI according to what height and weight you put in. So once you click on submit, the screen color will change. Okay, so let me give you a preview on this. So as you can see, the images here show if your BMI is healthy or not healthy. So it starts from blue and ends with red. So the screen color will change accordingly to what your uh, body mass index is. So let me demonstrate. Okay, um, let's put any random number, maybe 12. Okay, there. As you see, the screen color has changed, and it told my BMI here. So it will tell the BMI, and the screen color will change. So the first one's blue, and the screen color changed to blue. So now I'm going to go into the coding part of the app. So here I used a different block called variable. I'm not sure if I've, uh, I've told about this yet, but variable is a whole entire different type of block because when you use variable, it will ask you to initialize the app variable name which is a whole different thing. Okay, so here I use a number block in math, which is zero, because the app variable name, uh, the BMI is actually zero. So you have to add in the variable name and then the component that you're actually adding it to. Okay, so when you click on the button, the submit button, it should, it should show you uh, what the BMI is and the screen color should also change. Accordingly to this, you should know what BMI is each color. So for this one, first, when you click on the button, 
it should it should put the weight inputs text to uh, divided by height inputs text times height inputs text. So what does this mean? That means we're calculating the BMI. So first it needs to calculate the BMI and accordingly it will join your BMI is at variable BMI. So what does join mean? So here, it's in text. Basically you're joining a different text group. So for this, it will actually tell you what type of BMI it is. It's the main part of the whole thing. It basically builds up the calculator for the BMI. So that's the main part, you must have it. And you also need to add the at variable BMI each time for every single logic block. So for the logic block, we're using greater than and lesser than. So for at variable BMI one, it will show the blue color, right? But it needs to be uh, lesser than 18.5 if it's lesser than 18.5 then it will turn blue but here it shows at variable at variable bmi is lesser than 24.5 that means if it's lesser than 24.5 but greater than 18.5 then it'll turn green because that bmi is okay that's really good each BMI has its own color. Blue is lesser than 18.5 and green is uh, lesser than 24.5. And for yellow here, for the yellow variable, it should be lesser than 29.9. So this basically means each app variable has its own number to be greater than or lesser than and according to that we have to add the numbers in with the logic blocks okay so for yellow uh, i already told it's lesser than 29.9 but it should be greater than 25. so why is it not greater than 24.5 I'll, I'll come back to that a bit later. So here, for, for orange, it should be greater than 30, but it should be lesser than 39.39. .39. For red, it should be less, uh, it should be greater than 40. Then it'll become red. That basically means the BMI is way too high. And here in the picture, second. So here you call it extremely cease. So that basically means uh, the BMI is way too high, okay? Cease is for orange, which means it's cease. <laughs> okay. So extremely cease is way too much for the BMI. So that's how the app works. I hope you understand. And this is the end of my video. Thank you for watching. Please be sure to subscribe and like to this video. Bye.